Okay, fifth grade, lesson 70. This is on writing equivalents, decimal numbers, and then writing cents correctly. Okay, so I'll explain. We kind of went over this a while ago, Eli. If I took 12.6, tell me how you would read that again. Uh, 12 and 6 tenths. Perfect. Okay, and then I did 12.6, and I added two zeros. You would think this is worth more, right? But if the zeros are after the decimal and after all the whole numbers, counting mm -hmm. numbers, you just, then it's okay. I could add a hundred of these at the end and they still equal the same thing. So this compared to this, the answer is Okay, zeros after the decimal don't matter after your, do you see this whole number right here? If it's after whole numbers, then it does not matter. I could have as many as I want. Now, what if I added a 7 right there? Where does the number stop actually? It stops after the seven. After seven. So does this zero matter here? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what I want you to see is that after all these nine zero numbers, anything that's not a zero, right here, and then you have zeros from then on out, they pretty much don't matter is what you have to remember. Okay? Okay. You feel like you got that? Yeah. Okay. So... Now, let's look at something else. If I had 6, 0, which is a 60, right? And I had 600, where is the decimal on each of these numbers? Lined up. Okay, but where are they? Even though you can't see the decimal, where is it? After the 6? Before the 6. I don't know. After every number, even if you don't see a decimal, there is always a decimal at the end of every number. Uh, okay, so this is 600, decimal comes after it. 60, decimal comes after it. 6, decimal comes after it. Yes. Okay. If I did that? <laughs> yes, you're right. Okay, so stay with me here. These zeros matter when it's on the left of the decimal. Do you see how this is 60? And this is 600. Mm -hmm. Do you see why those would matter? The decimal? The zeros. Yes. Why did that matter? Because they're before the decimal. Yes. And that means it's a whole number. So yeah. what that means when it's a whole number is that this is, means it's like 60 whole pies or 600 whole pies. But when you get to the right of the decimal mm -hmm. and you have many zeros, do they matter? The right? No. No. Very good. Okay. Now, last thing we're going to do is learn how to write cents correctly. So, for example, if you hear, I want you to write down 50 cents. I want you to show me two ways to write 50 cents, Eli. Besides wording it? Yes, besides words. Uh, we could do the 50 and then just like the number 50 and put a... Very good. So he wrote 50 and then one of cents. Okay, and there's one more way to do it. Or we could do the zero dot and then just 50. Okay, and what needs to go in front of that zero? Another zero? No. I mean, you could, I guess, but the dollar. Yes. Dollar sign. Okay? Yeah. So this is cent form. This is dollar form. You understand that? Uh -huh. Some people make the mistake of doing this. <laughs> okay? Impossible. Can't You can't write it like that. Okay? Uh -huh. it's, it takes away all meaning because this is in cent form, this is in dollar form. It's like me trying to write something in feet and inches at the same time. Okay? Not not, can't do that. Okay. Now, write this for me. 
Show me five cents doing it in cent form and dollar form. On the border or my paper? Wherever you prefer. Okay. Dollar form and paper form? In cent form. Then I'll do 76. There. Very good. Now, last thing. What is wrong with this? It's in dollar form and cent form. Very good. Okay? Not supposed to do it like that. So sometimes they'll say brownies. They think they're saying 25 cents each. Okay? But that's very incorrect way to write that. Okay? You either write it 25 cents or $1.25. Get it? Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, last thing we're going to do. They're wanting us to add $1.56 plus 75 cents. Now, what's wrong with this? Uh, one is in dollar and one's in cents. Okay, so what should you do? You should line them up and add them. Uh-huh. And so what form are you really putting this one in? Um, adding? Yes. Okay, so if I take this dollar fifty six and then add the 75 cents, when I add that decimal, what kind of form am I putting it in? Dollar. Dollar form. So, you, you need to take this one and leave it in dollar form, take this one and put it in dollar form, and perform it. Okay, or leave this in cent form, and make this one into cent form yeah. and perform it. Okay? So do it however you would like on your paper. That problem? Yep. And tell me what you would get. $2.31. Excellent job. So, once he added this and you lined it up, here's what it should look like on your paper. Is that what you did, Eli? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we made that into that. And then you should have gotten $2. Nope. $2. Bring my decimal down in 31 cents. That's what you got? Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Let's listen to 70.